Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Staring by the wonderfully named And Now You Run. Have you ever stared at yourself in a mirror for a very long time? It sounds weird, I know, but I'm sure at least half of you hearing this will have done it. If you stand in silence, staring only into your own eyes for long enough, you'll get this feeling. Those that have done it will know what I'm talking about. It's hard to give a definition or description of the feeling. It's almost as if everyone has their own way of describing it. Some will even go so far as to call it an out-of-body experience. But one thing that everyone seems to agree on is that if done for long enough, staring at yourself in the mirror doesn't feel right. It's pretty much unexplainable, but eventually something deep in your mind will scream out that something is wrong, very wrong. Different people take different amounts of time to reach what you might like to call the peak of the feeling, but when they do, they almost have to stop staring. It's like every cell in your body is urging you to run away. But what exactly is it that you so desperately need to get away from? This is just about everything that anyone knows about that feeling. Or, I guess to correct myself, just about as far as anyone has dared to find out. If you decide to take this experiment to its most extreme point, you'll find out a little bit more. Heed my warning though, the few people who have gone this far haven't come back the same. All of them strongly refuse to report what they saw or experienced. And all I can tell you is that what happened to me was also extremely disturbing. I'd recommend that all of you who do not wish to take this any further, please stop listening here. Now it doesn't take much preparation, all you'll need is a room with a mirror, obviously. Uh, a bathroom is probably the easiest for most people. You'll need to be alone, and there must be total silence for this to work. You'll need to make the room as dark as possible. Turn out all the lights, and draw the blinds if there are any. Preferably. This should be done at night. Now get as close to the mirror as you can without your image becoming distorted or blurred. Stare into your own eyes and smile. Nothing over the top, but make sure your teeth are showing. You'll see why later. Yes, I, I know this is a pretty odd request, and it'll feel silly to do, but nobody's watching, right? Now continue smiling. Stare into your own eyes, and nothing else. Do not look around the room no matter what you begin to see or hear. When you start to get the feeling, you'll know you're doing the right thing. Continue staring. Now this is the hardest part. When you reach the peak, and you get that undeniable desire to get out of that room and run as far as you can, try to resist it. You may be overcome with fear, but just push that emotion down and continue to smile and stare into your own eyes. There's no going back now. You'll know that you're past the peak when you get the next feeling. This one is very different, and it, it won't be like anything you could imagine experiencing in real life. This whole experiment will now seem quite surreal, almost dreamlike that means that it's working. I guess the only way to describe what you'll feel next is a feeling of unity. Unity between you and the figure staring back at you in the mirror. You see, it will not seem like you're both the same entity anymore. You may have experienced this during the peak, however now you will not feel scared of what's in the mirror one with it. I can't say how long it'll take for you to feel this. Maybe five minutes? Maybe half an hour. But what you think you do, close your eyes. Continue smiling, but keep your eyes closed. It's almost over now. 
when you're ready, open your eyes. And you'll see why you needed to get away. So stay scary, my wildlings. Remember, actually doing it was your idea. And make the most of your nights. <laughs>